वेलकम टू आवर चैनल बायो बाय गुलाब सर फॉर विजडम कोचिंग सेंटर एज ए पार्ट ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस जेनेटिक्स इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू इज द बिगिनिंग टू लर्न जेनेटिक्स इन डिटेल यू वुड हैव लर्न दैट पार्ट ऑफ द जेनेटिक्स इन टेंथ क्लास बट इट वॉज जस्ट एन इंट्रोडक्टरी instead of saying biology as a science now it can be said as a life engineering or biological engineering because it is a natural engineering that has been engineered by evolution in the span of time to how that genes to express and produce different protein to how the different phenotypic and genotypic characters these genes what we have within our body or within every living organism they express and produce certain protein which are important to maintain the structure and function of, of an organism so genetics is nothing but it is the branch of biology which deals with the study of inheritance and variation so let us learn about mendelian experiment with the introduction about genetics no doubt as a chapter that principles of inheritance principles of inheritance and variations instead of saying only inheritance it can be said as principle of inheritance and variations is very important so here gregor john mendel one who called as a father of genetics no doubt since human civilization has started that is around 8000 to 10000 year before indus valley civilization then after we had started farming and there are some incidents and evidences that these processes were being used as we are in practice and known that formation of curd extraction of ghee from curd fermentation fermentary products have naturally occurring hybridizations and production of new varieties of wheat and cotton so that was the beginning but it was not known till mid 18th century this knowledge was hidden but one who that father of genetics gregor john mendel who is known as the father of He was the first to study the factors behind phenotypic and genotypic character, or the traits which are being inherited and controlled in all living organisms. So, as a part of introduction, that genetics is the branch of biology which deals with the study of genetics. It is the branch. of biology which deals with the study of inheritance and variation inheritance and variation now then what is inheritance and what is variation as inheritance is nothing but transmission of character transmission of traits or character traits or character from one generation to another generation or parental generation to offspring from parental generation to to their offsprings 
and this is known as inheritance sometimes new characters are appear sometimes that new characters which appear so new characters appear in offspring then that of parental generation then that of parental generation so new characters that appear then that of parental generation is called variation is called variation now we have to study how these characters are being transferred from parental generation to offspring and the unit of inheritance is very important that unit of inheritance unit of inheritance is known as genes now where the genes are located is very important the genes are located on chromosomes so what are that chromosomes so as we know that here this is a one chromosome and what are the genes the genes are present as a code nitrogenous base sequence of nitrogenous bases that three nitrogenous base sequence code for one amino acid and that amino acid chain is a protein and yes that gene undergo expression and regulation through the process of transcription and translation to produce specific protein say as this much part suppose take example right from this to this is one gene this gene undergo transcription undergo transcription and that we are going to learn in detail what is transcription producing messenger rna so here this is suppose a messenger rna in 5 dash 3 dash direction coding for specific protein so messenger rna undergo translation undergo translation and produce specific protein having thousands of amino acid in a chain so produces specific protein this thousands of amino acid in a chain that is a polypeptide chain of amino acid is a specific protein and this specific protein control specific character either structure or function and thus that protein which produce that control the character so trait is controlled by protein protein is produced by that gene present on chromosome gene is a unit of inheritance and yes that transfer from one generation to another generation is known as inheritance and inheritance is nothing but it is a process through which is transfer from one generation to another generation under the branch of biology which study which study is called genetics and yes gregor john mendel one who was a very very intelligent to see what we could not or none of the individual before that could see that what exactly the factors present within that control our character so this chapter is fully devoted to the mendel as he had been studied genetics thoroughly and put forward his three laws of inheritance first law law of dominance second law law of segregation third law of independent assortment and yes in this chapter simultaneously we are going to study these laws so what is the first law mendelian laws or mendelian hybridization experiment so we are going to learn about these three laws in detail law of dominance second law of segregation and third law of independent assortment
this law of segregation is also known as law of purity of gamete is also known as law of purity of gamete these two laws these first two laws are studied by monohybrid cross that he made monohybrid cross between two organisms of the same species with contrasting characters and this law of independent assortment studied through dihybrid cross so this is very important so one by one we shall study about monohybrid cross dihybrid cross by the time when we study monohybrid cross we have to study law of dominance and law of segregation and when we study dihybrid cross by the time we have to learn law of independent assortment so next video will be video on mendelian experiment as he has studied and he has started his work on pea plant when he started his work on pea plant he considered pea plant for his experiment because of pea plant has very short duration of maturity easily observable character easily can be done transfer of pollen grain from stigma to the anther of the same flower or another flower moreover that result obtained is in very less duration so he studied about seven character and that character were present on four chromosome 1 4 5 7 that chromosome number for neat that he studied seven character contrasting character present on four chromosome very important to note that mendel selected pea plant for his experiment first point why that we will discuss second point he consider he observed and consider seven traits for his experiment what are that seven trait for his experiment let us see by this diagram these are the seven traits the traits can be of dominant and recessive so traits can be dominant and recessive in recessive form so trait height is a trait that can be tall or dwarf and it is shown here that tall plant and dwarf short plant another trait can be shape of the seed shape of seed can be round and the recessive is wrinkle color of the seed yellow dominant or green shape of the pod that inflated inflated dominant or constricted see there is shown dominant or constricted color of a pod green dominant or yellow it is opposite to the color of seed color of flower red or purple dominant or white this can be purple and position of the flower that apical axial and terminal so axial is dominant or terminal now this is very important to understand that he seven trait he selected and on which chromosome that is very important for neat point of view these seven trait were present seven traits were present were or are present present on four chromosomes and that chromosome numbers are chromosome numbers for neat are 1 4 5 and 7 please remember this very important 
फोर फाइव एंड सेवन दिस फोर क्रोमोजोम हैविंग दिस सेवन कैरेक्टर प्रेजेंट ऑन दे आर अलिलिक पेयर ऑफ दैट कंट्रोल बाय डोमिनेंट एंड रिसेसिव सो दे प्रेजेंट ऑन सेम लो साइड ऑन द सेम होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम वी शैल डिस्कस इन लेटर एक्सपेरिमेंट नाउ हियर वी डिड अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हिच कैरेक्टर्स आर बीइंग कंट्रोल बाय सिलेक्टेड बाय मेंडल वी हैव जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस दैट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस विद जेनेटिक्स एंड बिगिनिंग ऑफ द मेंडल्स एक्सपेरिमेंट मेंडल हैज started his experiment in three steps so that steps are started his work in three steps and that steps of mendel experiment are one pure line selection second hybridization experiment at the third is formation of laws or formulation of laws mendelian laws as these three laws law of dominance law of segregation and law of independent assortment sure in next video we are going to learn about that three things that why mendel had selected p plant for his experiment then he consider that seven trait what that seven trait with their dominant and recessive character that when he started experiment he was very much sure to have the selection of plants with trait pure purity for the trait that tall plant must produce tall and dwarf plant must produce dwarf or round seed plant must produce only round seed or wrinkle seed plant produce only wrinkle seed that is pure line selection so that we shall learn in next video so for this now we have discuss about what is genetics it is a branch of biology which deals with the study of inheritance and variation also we study what is inheritance is a transmission of character from one generation to another generation whether it is sexually reproduced or asexually reproduced or vegetatively reproduce but characters are as it is transferred from one generation to another generation with subtle changes and therefore we had required or we took a billions of year or millions of year that to you hold the species into the next higher level of trait or character or with character or trait and therefore that we say that all the living being today what we see they have started to evolve 3700 600 or around 3000 million years year ago so that changes had happened in the span of time in genes to evolve many species from the single cell organism yes and because of that character transfer either in same form or with subtle changes making some adjustment to adjust with the changing environment and that is called evolution so genes are transferred with subtle changes by evolution manifestation of perfection of that character within that living organism with to maintain the structure and function at the same time we call subtle changes that may accumulated such level that they have created and control a new character appear into the next generation and thereby the species are evolved varieties are developed different kind of organisms are evolved and yes with that inheritance and variations we are today having millions millions types of plants and animal species and that is because of worth of these mendels we come to know that gregor john mendel one who was the son of austrian monk he had studied this experiment in the garden of monastery of that austrian uh, dynasty and he had worked for about 7 to 8 year right from 1857 or 1853 to 1867 so he worked on about 6000 plants with this seven character and got success to put forth these three laws of uh, mendel law of dominance law of segregation and law of independent assortment so i hope that you did understand this introduction to the chapter principles of inheritance definitely we will enjoy by having very interactive discussion and very interesting uh, lecture on law of dominance i hope you did understand even if you are in doubt you can ask in comment section i appeal you to subscribe and like our channel 
as well as press bell icon so as to receive new videos as and when they are uploaded thank you